Well, 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 back to my zone, no more. It's been very, very long. Um, this is a Spain custom formation for me, yeah. So, we are using the four, <coughs> the four, three, three holding formation here. Yeah? And these are the players we have Torres up front, we have Morata, we are not using Pablo Sarabia. Unfortunately, um, Gavi is not playing too, so Gaia has been injured, he was injured yesterday or so. Um, we have Alba here to replace him. Also, we have a very, very good midfielder that was converted into a right back. I don't know why, but well, Simeon, Simeon finished, finished him. And yeah, Assess is on the bench too. So, it's a very, very good formation. I mean, Koki is very decent to start. Um, Pedri, Biscuit, um, Laporte, Torres, Cavajal on the wing back with Alba. So, everything is great at this point. Um, Morata is the one striking, so very, very good. 43 formation, 43 holding. The tactics is pressure on heavy touch, you know. Their width is wide, their depth is not really high, you know. Spain normally likes to hold the ball, so I put it on 50 depth. Like, it's not low, it's not high because they go for counters, get, and they like to hold the ball. So their build up play is very slow, and we all know that they love possession. They always have the possession of the ball. They are ballers. <laughs> okay, yeah, so their attacking um, width now is very, really wide. They like using the wings, they have fast wingers. Ferran Torres might not be the best to play on that left wing, but I'm leaving him there just because he has a rating higher than Asu Fati. And then players in the box, they have tall players, so they have like five players in the box. Corners two, they put like four players, so they don't really get out of players when they are giving them counter attacks. Free kicks too, they give, they put like three players. So like, yeah, this is what I do. This is how I use Spain in the tactics. Um, Tactics or defensive style or whatever they call this place, but this this is the squad again. I'm saying it's Morata, Rodrigo, Torres, Pedri. Again, disclaimer: I'm not telling you this is the best formation though, but this is the best formation. <laughs> anyways, 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 I'm going to the instructions now. So the instructions now: Morata is the target man. You get he's the target man. Torres now he cuts inside and he gets in behind. You know he also knows how to score. This guy, he loves to score too, so give him, he doesn't stay wide, he doesn't have a free room, he cuts inside and he loves to score too, so like he gets it behind. So the three um, forwards, they love scoring so much that they always go to, they, are, they always get him behind to score. Then the, the midfielders now, this guy stays at the head of the box, he gets forward, same thing with Koke, but not the, not really like the same thing, Koke is like a centre mid center mid center mid so he stays at the end of the box he has the technique he is balanced you know he doesn't really move so that he can be able to support Busquet in the midfield Busquet now he stays back on attacking he's a maestro on the ball bro like he sticks his position he covers the center so he stays back on attacking does his normal defensive work and interception passes the ball but Alba now he knows how to overlap and attack so he doesn't stay back on attacking, he joins the attack. Since him and Kawaha has the pace to do that, so they both overlap and join the attack. So this is what I do for Spain. <laughs> 